What's up there fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Moz Anomalies channel. Uh, I figured I'd jump off Moz again. Kind of, I'm going to kind of alternate back and forth if I can. Um, I got a wild video for you guys today. Um, you guys are going to really like this thing. This is Phobos and you can see where um, you can see the picture has been. It says 1977, you know, mission Viking 1 orbiter, target Mars Phobos. Um, this thing looks to me, it just has like artificial written all over it. I don't know about you guys, but it really does look artificial. And what's the chances of a meteor hitting this thing right on the end of it? I mean, it's not very big to begin with. Uh, but let me give you a little information about it. And I'll give you something that uh, you'll, you'll find really... Uh, um, I'm going to use the term... It's going to add to the video and, and and what I find on this particular little... I'm not going to call it a moon. They, they, they call it, categorize it as a moon. It's a body to me. I mean, it looks like a giant peanut or something. So, uh, But a little information about it. It's uh, its mean radius is like 6.7 miles. Um, it's it actually has a twin. Um, it's uh, Diamos or Diamos, depending on how you pronounce. It. It's supposed to have a twin, and it's a little bit bigger. I think it says it's like just about seven point. Well, it's like seven and a quarter times massive uh, than the second moon uh, Diamos. So it actually has a smaller twin to this thing. What I find interesting about this, there's actually a page I'm going to show you, and the Russians in 1988, I think it was, um, sent up two probes, lovingly called Phobos 1 and 2. One uh, said something had about a, a radio command error, and, you know, it pretty much, that was it, it was dead. They were supposed to go to Mars, kind of like orbit around Mars, and then rendezvous, slingshot out, and then rendezvous with uh, the Phobos moon. And... Uh, the second one actually did that. It went around Mars, and what it was supposed to do was slingshot out, rendezvous with Phobos Moon, and and then just kind of like what it was supposed to do is drop off, I think it was like a couple packages of uh, instruments, and it was supposed to be placed on this moon. Well, it disappeared. It got shot out. The Russians said it was destroyed some, by some kind of beam. Um, you know, and then they asked, you know, uh, what was it that hit Phobos 2, the actual probe satellite? What hit it, you know, uh, did it get too close and see too much, so to speak? And um, In fact, I'll show you the page, and then what I'll do is I'll give you the link to it so you guys can check this out. And they say, is Phobos an artificial structure? Um, you know, uh, let me see. See, it entered in, into orbit around Mars as the first step towards its ultimate goal, to transfer, uh, transfer to an orbit that would make it fly almost in tandem with the Martian moonlit called Phobos and explore the moon with equipment that has included two packages of instruments to be placed on the surface of the moon. Um, it says it was successful, but it goes on to say how it said f had failed to communicate with Earth as scheduled after completing an orbit, uh, I'm sorry, an operation yesterday around the uh, Martian moon Phobos. Um, and then it says it was like, you know, you know, it revealed anomalies on the surface of Mars, blah, 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 it goes on and on. But it says, it says, after the last frame was radio transmitted back to Earth, the probe mysteriously disappeared. According to the Russians, it was destroyed, possibly knocked out by an energy pulse beam. And then it says, so what was it collide? You know, what was it that collided and crashed into Phobos 2? Was the space probe shot out of the space by, you know, because, you know, for seeing too much? And what does the last secret frame show? But it also shows here, another anomaly was also found... <clears throat> also found one of the last transmissions from Phobos 2. It was a photograph of a gigantic cylindrical object, a huge approximately 20 kilometers long, 1.5 kilometers diameter cigar-shaped mothership that was photographed on the 25th March 1989. It says hanging, or I, I, I thought they are probably saying parked, but next to the Martian moon Phobos by the Soviet unmanned probe Phobos. So I'll show you that thing. I'll let you guys uh, check this out, you know, I'll, get, I'll, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can check this out. Um, but it was just really weird that they come out with this, and I decided to look this thing over myself. Now, there's been a lot of people that put, um, you know, the monolith. Um, I've been checking out a lot of things. There's people find some wild stuff on this thing. But I haven't seen people show what I'm going to show you. Um, and I haven't even scratched the surface of this thing, guys. I'm going to show you this right here. Um, and this is, you know, I'm looking right here just... I don't know, it's just something, it's like really artificial. And I'm looking, I'm looking, and right off the bat, look at this. Fudge all over this place. See it? How it's outlined right here? It's all fudged in. All in here. All the way down here. And you can see where it stops. See it? It's got like another crater within a crater kind of thing here, but it stops right here. Why is that? Um, 
right off, you know, so I'm saying, okay, so they're hiding something on this, this little rock. Um, you can see a little, it looks like a blur here. And I look for like, you know, you know, because this is very lit, meaning they contrasted this thing to be brighter. I'm looking at anything that could be a dock anomaly, something that could be, that could stand out. And I didn't see anything really at too much. And then I was like, well, what's this? What's this? And more importantly, what is that? And if you look, you guys can actually see this. Look at this. Runs down, comes off to the side. Right here, some kind of pipe comes out of here. Oh, I'm saying pipe because it looks what it looks like. And I'm looking right here, it's fudged out really bad here, but there's something here, 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 here. And you can see this right here, you really can't tell what that is, but this looks like some kind of mechanical or kind of, some kind of structure on this actual little moon. Um, and there was, where was the other thing here? There's something, and I want to show you these guys. I actually enhanced these parts of these pictures uh, this, of this moon. Um, and again, I haven't even scratched the surface of this thing. I just kind of messed around with it and just looked it over real quick. And this is what I found. And I was, you know, actually pretty excited about this. I, you know, I just enjoy this stuff. So, and like I said, I'm going to start off right in this area. I actually start, here's like a, what looks like a little crater here. But I start from right about here down about here. I don't really keep going. But just a small area alone I find, um, I think it will have you scratching your head. Um, so with that, let me, let me jump over to this. Let me just minimize this one. Let me just go to this in here. Okay. All right. Right off the bat, this is supposed to be here's here's that crater, up in this left corner. Okay. Here it is. And this is what's right underneath this. Now you say, well, that's this piece right here. Mm, no. Um, because you can see this little piece here. Then you get this dot, this dot. Okay. Then you don't really see this. You don't know what this is, but it must be this right here. This has been, you go, okay, it just looks like a, a gouge or some kind of large gouge in this crater. Okay, I'll go with that to a certain degree, but why does it have, picture like the, like a, a cork, corking tube that you'd put in a cork gun. It has this weird outline, then goes to the narrow, part like a giant pencil kind of thing, see it? And then behind it, I don't know if this is all in one piece or not, but you see where it kind of goes over this white piece here, see it? Goes down, goes up and around it, it's got this right here. Looks like a giant P or some letter behind this. And it looks like it's got something in the middle. I'll get back to that in a little bit. And then I looked over here. I'm saying, well, wait a minute. Look at this. Looked like a 90 degree angle at first. But then I'm looking again real closely. It looks like a bridge going from this mass, this land piece, to this center one. And it looks like there's a shadow underneath it. Now, let me see if I can jump it a little closer here. I don't think it's going to... Well, you can see it a little bit here, but you can see it looks like there's a connection right here. It looks like it's, it's light underneath it, like it's a bridge kind of thing. But you can see where it's actually straight. Now, look at this. comes all the way around. has this details here. See it? Kind of... Okay. Right over here, right over here. See this? Okay. I'm going to back back out for a second. Okay. And I'm looking at these here, and there's something really blotched out right here. You can see it. I don't know if it's a tower of some sort, but then look over here. What is all this? Look at this. It's all squared away. Look at this. It's just like there's something right in here. See it? See that right there? Like these all, I mean, it's just like perfectly straight lines. This looks like a tower standing up. And the shadows are consistent because if you look at the shadows here, okay, it's like showing it this way. Now, I don't know why that would be, but because it's actually coming in, if you go to the right now, this right picture, it's actually shining off to the side somewhere. Like, it's coming from this right side of this crater on here. Because it's shining here, and you can see, like, it's either coming from the north, like, way up in the north side of this, coming down, like, it would be, like, in this direction. Shining into this crater, or vice versa, maybe the other side, I don't know, but... Um, if it's coming from this direction up here, and the sun's coming down over this crater, that would make sense, because then there's your shadows. Because it's right about here. It's right in this area. And if you notice, it's very blurred out here. Look at this. Very blurred out. And you can just see the outline of this, but you can see this a little bit more. And see it now? It's got better detail. And you can still see this, this right here going down. And there it is. See this weird shape of this, whatever this is? This building, whatever the heck this may be. Something round right there. Got this detail going around. But this part is what blew my mind. See that right there? Okay. And there's something right there. This, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like too perfect, man. It's just, look at this. It's like little buildings everywhere you look on this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, um, let me go like this. Let me see if I can't. 
I'm gonna just for the heck of it. I wasn't even gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this just for the heck of it. See if I can. And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm not even doing anything to this picture barely. Um, but let me do this just for the heck of it. Let's see if we can bring in something here. See now, what is all this? What is you know? Now there's nothing definitive there, and I get that. But look at this. Kind of looks like some kind of square building or something like that. See that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it... see there's something else back here. You can see where it's all ghosted out. There's something in here. There's no doubt about it. And if it's kind of lean that way, because it's this actual, because if you think about it, it's on this rim, this side of the rim here. Let me back out. It would be like right in here. So yeah, it would be more light lit on this side, depending on which way the sun's coming from. So yeah, see it? It's kind of like a shadow in between this. <laughs> guys, I don't know, but this is just some crazy stuff here. Let me let me see if we can zoom in just a hair bit more. Let's see if we can. Eh, it's a little pixelated. Um, okay, let's do that. Um, well, let's go with the filters here. Let's go. Okay. Now you can see it like stuff is more defined here. See it? Now it's blurred, but I mean, as far as definition, let me see if we can just see it. Just like. I couldn't tell you what this stuff is, but look at it. Going around, it's like squared off. You can't really see what this stuff is because they still blurred it out regardless. First of all, you're magnifying it, which blurs it out. And secondly, it's actually blurred out. So it makes it really hard to see this stuff. Um, but you get the idea. This is, <laughs> You look at this part here. Okay, and I can just bring this like this. I don't know about you guys, but I don't see that here. Now here's that here's that rim of that inner crater. I'm not seeing that. Why would they go out of their way to hide something that's not there? Well, supposedly not there. So that's why this thing looks really smooth is because they're actually doing everything they can to blur it out. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna move up to this next one here. There's really not a whole lot, but this other one, like I said, will blow your mind. Um, let me see here. Okay, here's your right here whoops my bad do, 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 do. let me go up here see how like it's just got these weird things that they fudged out I didn't even do that part now there's some other things in here like I said they won't really have too much definitive stuff here but um, now this is the top if you look at this one here well, let's just go ahead and move this over um, there's this crater right here okay so this is going to be north of this crater right here. This is this spot right here. Now, you can't see too much there, and I get that. But look, there's something there. See, it's got an outline of something. One, two, three. There's something coming off this. See it? There's something in here all blurred out. Again, you can't really see what it is, and I get that. But it's hidden. It's there. Here's the other part right here. It should be right in here, I think. But see how it's got like these weird... Let me just back it up just a hair bit. See how like it's got these weird shaping is just something there is it nothing that's a good possibility but it looks like it's got some structure like some lines to it. it doesn't look like it's just strictly just round circles and stuff but look closely right up in here north of it see it there's something there you, you get to look at the abstract or the real real light areas as well as the you know the darker area see it something there there's like straight lines here there's a bunch of it in this I, I promise you this whole thing is almost probably covered with this stuff Look at this. There's weird stuff all over here. No, more blur. No matter where you look, there's blur everywhere in this thing. But I don't know. It looks like there's some kind of structure or something. I can't make that out. And I don't think you guys could either. But let me know. Um, and then this piece right here. This is the one I'm going to show you. This is, this is, I mean, this is huge, guys. I mean, I don't know what this is. But look at this. Round circle, like some kind of opening over here. Goes up like this. See it? goes down here like a pipe kind of thing something sticking out here like there's some kind of weird pipe opening or some kind of weird tube some kind of thing going on here you can just see the actual structure see it comes down whoops my bad um, and there's something in there I mean and then you look at this look at these lines that are in this this is what's crazy see these lines on the right picture 
See how they just travel all the way along? See this? They just all the way along. Okay. Look inside it. Something here. Something here. Something right there. Something here. Okay. I mean, I'm looking at this here, and I'm just going, this is just nuts. <laughs> Are these some kind of, like, this is some kind of structure? Are these some kind of uh, vehicles or something? I mean, look at one, two. Uh, I mean, look at all, like, just, my God, they just went to town on this thing, just scribble it out. Look at all back here. There's, like, these different docket areas. But, I mean, you can see, I mean, there's just something here. And, like I said, it goes down, comes out. And something right there that protrudes out of there, too. Then it's got this round piece. And like I said, they just went really nuts on this thing to try to... Let me see if I can't bring any more of this out of it. It's just... This is what I did earlier, uh, previous to the... Just to see what would happen. Um, so let's see if we can bring it out of here a bit more. I don't think I can do too much more, but let's see. But see how they get these little things here? They actually look like little vehicles of some, of some sort. Look at this, like... There's a whole bunch of them, and it's inside these lines. That's what, that's what really throws you off. Let me bring it way out. See, bring it some really, bring the contrast back some. Okay. I'll just slowly go darker and darker. See, how like they really went out of the way to pixelate the crap out of this. Look at this. So I don't know what this is, guys. I don't know if these are little vehicles or just little structures. I don't know what they are, but. See all the way in here? There's something metallic or something there. But you can even look down here. Look at this. Even out where I didn't even look. Well, I didn't even have the squared off. You can just see what looks like little something. Look at straight lines. Now, is it part of the landscape or part of this rock? Sure, I'll go with that. Um, but I think we can all all agree that that's, that's not natural. That's on the actual surface of this rock. Uh, no two questions about it. Um, let me back out. I think there's one other right here. Now, I don't, this doesn't really show much, and I kind of get that. But it was it was just kind of weird how it showed this right here. Okay? Right here. It just happened to be a dot over this. It looks like a, a light just, like, projecting out of this thing. See it? And it got some kind of dot there. And they See, they got some kind of... I don't know if these are just markings they did for the film. I don't know what this is, but let me do this a minute. I think I tried this already. I think I just, um, for the heck of it, I think I just inverted it. Okay. Uh, let's just do a simple invert and see what happens. Okay. Okay, see how, like, now it looks like it's black coming out of it? Because now, if it's any kind of light shining, you look at this picture here on the right, see how it's like, this is the regular picture. This is nothing I've done to it. And it looks like there's light actually beaming out of this thing. See it? Now, when it's inverted, you can actually see the black now, which would be light on this picture. Um, but even this one here, if you look closely, I don't know what these are. These might be just simple rocks on this structure. I get that. But look, you can see something with a line. And it's just, I mean, it's really blurred out. But let me just back up just a hair, see if that makes any difference. No, you can still see it's all pixelated out. Because you can see this looks almost normal, and this is all really pixelated. See it? Looks like there's something, diamond shaped something right here. It may be just a pixelation, and I get that, but this doesn't make any sense. Look at it, it kind of like overhangs. Whatever this is, is right here. Now, you can't see it there, but it looks like there's light coming out of there, but yet, look at this. Huh, who knows? Like I said, in that, in that, uh, on that page, it says, is the moon hollow? The guy actually says he thinks it's hollow because this thing is traveling so close. They say that it's traveling so close to the Mars surface that it actually orbits around Mars faster than Mars rotates which is really funky. So they, they looked at the mass and the density, supposedly, with these instruments and said that this thing has to be hollow. <laughs> Your guess would be as good as mine. Uh, so it is kind of wild. Now, that's pretty much what I think I've got of these on this, but I'm going to show you the other uh, part of it, which is really cool, um, which is the crater. Um, I thought this was kind of wild, and this crater is called Stickney. Um I don't know where they come up with that name, but anyway, it's called Stickney, and right, I mean, I don't know if you guys noticed, right off the bat, I mean, I'm like, what? I'm looking at this, and I see right here, look at this, circle, semicircle, kind of comes all the way down, all the way down into here, okay? 
Is it just something on the on the surface? Heck, I'll go with that. Um, let me see. Let me get out of this here. Um, let's do it this way instead. Okay, let's let's section it off and let's see what we can find. Because I thought this is really wild. Um, just gonna drop it down here. Um, let's just simple automatic. Now, right off the bat, I'm seeing what is this? It's like it's been colored. You can actually see where they manipulated part of this just by doing a simple thing like this here. Um, round area, kind of semi-round. Looks like it's look. You can actually see like what looks like straight walls. Let's throw a little blur into it, get some of this graininess out, and see what happens. Okay. See how like it's just. Look at this. Where it's look even right here. Looks like you can actually see like a, a square kind of thing. Like like there's something here that's been really been taken out. Um, let me see if we can add a little more contrast. See if we can bring anything else out. Okay. But you can see what looks like little buildings here. We're just going down. All the way down, comes out. And whatever's in the back, I don't know if this is actually standing up in this crater or if it's built inside this rock. But you can see a blurring up here, and it comes all the way down into this. See it? This looks like there's more something or other up here. This looks too circular, guys. I mean, this is it a crater? That's a possibility. But it's just kind of odd that it's just connected. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. Because I see a whole lot of this, and there's something blurred out really big time right here. And like I said, you can see something here. Something goes over to here. Okay. Let me see. Let me go to... All right. This is the base picture. This is what your real picture is. Let's just go down to here. Okay. Right there. Okay. All right. Now, let's, for the heck of it, let's invert it. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Look at this. You can actually see the outline of what they've messed around with. Look at it all. See it? I don't know. This doesn't surprise me. This looks like little buildings in here. Now, there's nothing... I can't really see anything, any really good detail. So, you know, it's anybody's guess at this point. But I'm looking right here, and I can just see, like I said, I can see what looks like just shapes. I mean, you can see things here. Uh, right in here. Let me see if I can back this out of here a bit. Okay. Look at this. Like, like just things standing up one behind the other. Is it possible this is all naturally made, meaning... On this uh, rock, on this little moon, it's possible. I don't think so. I think what they do is they actually went out of their way to one ghost it and then smudge it out, and that's why you go, well, they don't look like buildings we know of. Well, they're not going to. <laughs> they're just simply not going to. Um, I mean, look at this this weird shape stuff back here. I mean, look at they blurred this out right here. Now let me see something here. I don't know if this is the part where. All right, this is the part where it's blurred out. Now you can see it's still blurred out, but it, there's something there, some kind of, I don't know what it is, but but it looks like there's all these little structures all up in here, see it? And like I said, it's just odd that these are this like this, and he's got these weird shapes to them. Now these little dots, these are just nothing more than the, um, you know, what you'll see right here, They're like little craters or little rocks and, you know, just throwing the shadows, so that that's nothing. Um, but I mean, when you see this here, I mean, it just, it just, you know, it just like puzzles you. Like, what is that? Yeah. And we invert it, and you can actually see where they actually manipulated all of this. Look at this. See, there's like these straight lines going all the way up and down this thing. There's what they are. I couldn't tell you, but it doesn't look like it was just naturally on this rock on this moon. So your guess is as good as mine. I think I'm going to make a two on this, like a, uh, a video, a number two of this particular one, because I've just started to scratch the surface on this, guys. I really have. Um, you know, who knows what else is on this thing. And there's many different angles of this. So knowing that these people found monoliths, uh, different other bigger structures, um, is it possible? And what the Russians are saying, that it's something might have shot up their... Uh, their uh, 
probes, is it possible that there is life on this thing or it is hollow? Uh, pff, I mean, come on. Every time I look at something different in space, and I'm just popping at anything at any given time. I could be on any planet, any moon, it doesn't matter. And I find something that has some kind of intelligent life or something intel intelligently made this. Um, some of it, yeah, I'll give you, you know, I'll give you that. Maybe it's just uh, a natural part of the rock or uh, landscape or whatever. But I would say at least 80 to 90 percent of the stuff says, "Well, this is just it. Just screams intelligently made." Um, so you guys, you guys can be the judge of that. Um, I'm gonna back out of this, you know. And like I said, right off the bat, I just, I just looked and I could see this right here. Now because it's kind of slanted to the, you have to slant your head to the right, but you can see this. Yeah. It just looks nothing more than just a reflection. Oh, I should say shadowing, actually. See it all? But why would that be shadowed? If this is really bright here, why would this be all shadowed? Doesn't make any sense. Um, over here, you would expect to be shadowed. Common sense. Not over there. Um, you know, they just make it look like, ah, oh, it's just layering of the dirt or part of the rock, whatever, whatever. And, okay. I don't see it like that. And in my opinion... And like I said, I never speak in absolutes. You guys know if you watch my videos, I don't speak in absolutes. Um, but you can see this. That just doesn't... I mean, if that's a crater, okay, I get that. But it connects to this one? I don't know, man. I, I don't buy that. I don't think it's... I don't think this is naturally made, meaning it was through space and whatever else. I think there's something on here. Um, the other part of it shows you... Uh, the other picture I've showed you where... Um, let me do this. These here, these other little, especially this here, right in here, that's definitely something on the surface. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, there's other stuff that's been so blurred out, but you can see here, 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 and it goes around. Um, there's something right there. And like I said, keep an eye on the actual um, things that are around it. I mean, look at this. And when I did this piece here, you can, you, I mean, it's... It's obvious there's nothing in this picture. I mean, I can see the blurring right there, right on this edge. And this right picture right here, see it? It's all blurred out up to this point. Why would you hide something if it's not there? It doesn't make sense. Now, like I said, you guys can, you know, I, I tell you what I think it is, and then you guys tell me what you think it is. Um, are these intelligently made? You guys be the judge. I think they are. I don't believe, I mean, come on. This looks like, like I said, some kind of tower standing up. It's got shadows to it. It's got this square stuff going on here. There's what looks like a little bridge or something going across. You can just see it's like perfectly across. The details in here. There's something way over here. Um, it looks like, believe it or not, if I do this again, I don't know if I have... Hold on. If I do this again, I'm going to show you guys something here. I don't know if it's going to show it again because I might have went too far with the manipulation of my own. Um, let me just do this. Let's see if I can find it. That one particular piece up here. I told you it looked like a P. See it? Kind of like shaped like a P and something in the middle. Okay. You can actually see it's now it's something docked there and you can see the pathway and you can see these a little bit better somewhat. Um, see if I can bring it over here. See, I don't know if you can see this right here now. It's a little bit better, a little bit more defined. This piece going across. There's something right in here. It looks, it's just an opening with something like another building of some sort. Look at these, it's too squared off not to be, to be nature, man. It just doesn't make any sense. Look at it. I'm way back in here. Let's see, I can't bring that back. Oh. See it? Anyway, you guys let me know what you guys think. Um, I may make a second part to this, depending on you know, how much time I got, because I, I, I'm just jumping all over the place on these, I'm going back to Mars for you guys, um, jumping on different bodies, meaning this one here, this little moon, um, and just going crazy, but like I said, I'm going to leave the link, well, I'm going to have this picture, I'll have the link to this picture here, and I'll have the link to this page here, where it says, is Phobos an artificial structure, uh, by Jeff Challenger, um, I want to leave that there as well. So you guys can check this out. It's pretty wild. I mean, when you really think about this, I mean, like I said, it's just weird. Everywhere you look, there's some kind of body or structure or something that has life or some kind of intelligently made uh, anomaly on it. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. I appreciate you guys looking uh, and watching the video. 
If you like what you see, just, you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. And like I said, you never know what I'm going to put on my videos next. So uh, stay tuned, so to speak. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next picture.